So today's video, the ultimate one by gearing setup for my gravel bike. Now, if you've been following me on Strava, you know that I've been riding this bike a lot. It's two years old now, can you believe? And I've spent a lot of time on the bike and a lot of time shifting gears. And I think I've got it dialed, the perfect setup. So on the back, I've got a SRAM Eagle XX1 rear derailleur paired with road levers on the front. And that setup is easy, up and down. However you want to call the up or down of the cassette. But then I've, I've gone and made it more complex than really need be by adding climbing shifters up here with multi-clicks up and down and the special source, the wireless flips on the inside on the drop handlebars so I can change gears up and down with my thumbs. So up or down the back in any position. It is a brilliant setup that I wasn't quite sure if it would work or not. And I did make one particular tweak when I first installed the wireless flips. I'll talk about that more in a minute. Let's have a close look up and the associated configuration in the SRAM Access Mobile app. Okay, here on the left, we have said Axis mobile app and all of the drivetrain settings for the bike. So we have an XX1 rear derailleur, which is the master unit, two wireless blips, two red controllers, the quark power meter and tire whizzes. Do note there are no multi-clicks shown here because they just simply use the auxiliary ports in the red controllers. Alrighty, scrolling back up to configure controls and do be aware this will look a little more complex than what it needs to, but once it's all configured, it really is quite simple. Okay, over there on the left, we have the red controller left going what they call downshift and I call going up the cassette. The auxiliary port number one, which I have the multi-click connected to, also going in the same direction. Over there on the right, I have a mirrored configuration. So one side goes up, one side goes down, or one easier, one harder. I don't have anything configured for combination action. So the double press of either the levers or the auxiliaries, nothing happens, nothing is configured. But where the secret source is, is in the wireless blip configuration and they appear right here. Now I didn't set out to configure things like this. Initially I had all yellow on one side, blue on the other. But after a few kilometers, it didn't make sense to me to have all the same buttons on all the one side. So reversing these allows me full up and full down control from either side. And as I said, it does look more complex than really what it needs to, but once you get your head around this configuration as shown here on screen, it is absolutely brilliant. Let's have a look at it in action out on the road. Alrighty, so easy and intuitive. You probably can't even see me doing the shift. So up and down on the outs, up and down on the inside wireless blips, up and down on the tops, and up and down in the drops with my thumb or with the fingers as well way way too easy and for added convenience one hand up and down on the right one hand up and down with both controls on the left doesn't get any easier than that now from a different angle on the inside of the left lever changing up and down using the lever paddle and the wireless blip which will go up and down the cassette and the same from down in the drops now i thought the inner wireless blip may be knocked and caused some misshifts but hasn't happened yet they are neatly tucked away and finally, just a close up again of the configuration that I use, and I think is absolutely brilliant, ignoring all the other peripherals that I have there on the front. The paddle shifters, wireless blips, and the multi-clicks tucked away right there. So there it is, the front end configuration of my SRAM Axis 1 by Gravel Bike, which I absolutely love. Vaughn, thank you for being the camera person. Thank you, help. For the video. Mm -hmm. And I'm guessing I'll need to install similar on your Gravel Bike as well. Yeah. yeah? <laughs> all right. We might do a video on that, coming soon. Sounds good. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, we'll see you soon. Let's go. Let's go. No apologies for the extended outro. I found a new road today and I really, really had to share. Have a look at this, it is an excellent ride.